Hello and welcome, young wizards, to another Wizard 101 Helpcast. I'm a senior wizard, and I'm here to help. First, I'd like to offer you the chance to come join us if you haven't already by heading over to wizard101.com. In today's Helpcast, we'll go over firewalls and how to set them up with Wizard 101. Okay, first up we have Norton Internet Security. Once you have the application up and running, click on Settings, then click on the Network tab, then the Smart Firewall. You want to then click on Program Control, which will bring up a list of all the applications the firewall has excluded or is monitoring. Scroll down, you'll see Wizard Graphical Client, Wizard Launcher and uh, from both banks A and B. You want to click on the right drop down box and where it says block or auto or custom, you want to click on allow. Here we have AVG Internet Security. The first thing you want to do is open up the application. Then you're going to click on Firewall, then Tools, Firewall Settings. You'll then drill down to Applications on the left-hand side. And you'll make sure that if the Wizard Graphical Client EXE or the Wizard Launcher from both the Bank A and B are not present, that you add them. You click on Add and make sure that you allow for all. Um, if you want, if they're there and they're blocked or they say advanced, you can click on edit. You can then, once set up, relaunch Wizard 101 and see if it'll allow you access to the internet. This is McAfee Internet Security. First, open the application. Next, click on Firewall, then click on Settings. Scroll down to Internet Connections for Programs. You'll be uh, provided a list of applications that have access to the firewall. You want to locate the Wizard Launcher EXE and the Wizard Graphical Client.exe, and you make sure that they both say uh, full so that they can both get inbound and outbound traffic information. And if you can, add, make sure that the Wizard Launcher EXE for both the A and B banks are listed and present. Here we have Trend Micro Titanium Internet Security. Okay, you're going to want to open the application. When it loads, click on the little uh, gear in the center there. That's the settings for the firewall. Click on that. All right, now you're going to add the application. You're going to look for the graphical wizard client and the launcher from both uh, the wizard launcher from both banks A and B. Add them, make sure they have full inbound and outbound traffic access and then click apply and save and then try to launch wizard 101 
Okay, here we have Microsoft Windows Internet Security or and Firewall. The first thing you want to do is go to the Start menu, uh, locate the Control Panel, click on the Security Center tab. That will bring up the Microsoft Security Essentials interface. Next, click on the Windows Firewall. Then click on Allow Programs Through Windows Firewall. This will bring up a dialog box which will allow you to choose an application or add it to the list. The interface is similar for both Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. If you're going to request assistance from technical support, please provide any symptoms you might be experiencing or any error messages you might be encountering. As much detail as you possibly can will help us help you. So remember, come visit us at wizard101.com or you can contact us via email at support at wizard101.com. We'd like to thank you for listening to this helpcast and hope you have a great day.